End of day three at the uh, 2012 NCAA Division One Outdoor Track and Field Championships with uh, Missouri uh, redshirt freshman Jill Russian, the thrower, and Jackson, Missouri native. Who, uh, before we talk about this weekend, tell me two week two weekends ago in uh, at, at, in Austin at the pre preliminary round championships, the shot was that first day and probably one of the first events. And um, I remember just seeing one of the early tweets with from uh, Jen or whoever and. You know, congrats, Kirsten and Jill, both advancing. Tell me what that was like going in. That was great. That competition, uh, it felt really good. I went out there, and it really happens that I get uh, my best throw on my first throw. Yeah. And that happened. Like, my warm-ups were all over 52, and I was feeling great. And then my very first throw was the one that got me in. And right. It was awesome. It felt really good. And then, uh, in finals, I barely scratched a 54 to 55. Oh, man. So I was really pumped about, like, like about being able to do that. Sure. And uh, Austin was a really good, really good meet, and I was so happy to qualify for nationals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because awesome. you've kind of had an up and down, up and down season. You've had some yeah. good ones, and, and uh, you know, at, you know, I guess that's with most most things that you know you're you you're not always going to be happy with your performances. I think. Yeah. There's some percentage that Coach McGuire, I think, has, has you know long stated, and uh, yeah. Um, but tell me, let me see if I can get a look. But tell me. Uh, uh, we'll move here, but tell me a little bit about uh, going in the mindset. Did you? Because I think what you were probably seated what in the twenties or so. I think I was seated eighteenth, twentieth. Exactly. Okay, but I'm not sure. And then, uh, and then mindset was to just get in there and, and throw far and, and be confident and, and you yeah feel like you're going to earn a spot. My mindset was uh, that I would need to PR to make it to finals, but. I didn't let that, like I tried not to let that bother me. Uh, I just wanted to go out there and do the best that I could. I just wanted a personal best. Um, and so my mind, that's how my mindset was. I just, I knew it would take a big PR to make it to finals. Sure. And when I got out there, like my warm ups felt great today. Uh, I don't really know what happened. We had a pretty long wait between, it was like a five minute wait between warm ups right. and then the actual start of the competition. So I thought I needed to get more pumped up. So I think I got a little bit too pumped for my first throw. But then I came back at the end and had a, like a 51. So I can't be too sad about that because I made it here as a freshman. So yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. About tw 20th place, I think, overall. And yes. what was your what was your best throw? 50? Uh, it was 15, 57 okay. meters. So that's like, I think it's like 51 something. Yeah. And tell me what it's like just being here and, and training those extra weeks and, and coming and watching uh, Kirsten, you know, take sixth in discus and yeah. and just the excitement and, and your first experience at the NCAA meet. It was very, it was very fun. Uh to be up here, I feel like I've uh, lived here for like a month, but it's only been a week. <laughs> yeah. It's a great experience. It's a really good experience, though. It was really fun to watch Kirsten compete in all three events. She's uh, she's a really good friend of mine and a really good teammate, and so we really like to compete against each other. But we're also friends when it comes down to it, so yeah. that's a good thing. Um, getting up here, we got here Monday. I practiced. Let me think. I practice every day except Wednesday. I just did some timing things, and then yesterday I came out and practiced. All of them felt really good. Yesterday my timing was a little bit off, but I was like, you know, I, I would rather have my timing be on today than yesterday. Right. But um, it, it felt good, and it was a really, really great experience overall. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. Well, tell me, because you were in flight two tonight, with, and the shot was, I think, started at five, and and, uh, and Kirsten was in flight flight one. Did you even watch that, or did you just relax in the shade and cool somewhere, uh, or what, what, were you just focused on what you were doing, or what was the... Uh, whenever they took out the first flight, um, I went back over to Jen, our trainer, and she stretched out my back and my legs, and then got my shoulders nice and loose, and then we had to come back over at 5.20, and then they brought us out there, so I didn't get to see any of the prelimin yeah. preliminaries, which kind of sucked. But uh, I got to see, I talked to Kirsten when, she came, when I came out here and she said that she was like in second. So I was yeah. like, that's awesome, okay. And uh, then we got to warm up, so that's yeah. how that went. Yeah. And uh, um, and obviously, you, let's, I guess you competed here at Drake for the first time or yeah. a couple months ago? Yeah, and that wasn't too bad of a competition uh, for the weather conditions because sure. it was very hard to stay warm that day. It was a different, very different ring. Yeah. So it was just, it wasn't bad. I think I threw like 50 feet, which wasn't t terrible at the time. So. What did you think of the atmosphere and the facility and, and just the, the coach, you know, coaches and fans pretty close to you? I loved it. I loved uh, how, being able to look up and see the Missouri section, being able to see my parents. Yeah. It was great. Um, 
but whenever I get in the ring, I just focus. I'm not. I don't even know what I see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, try to focus on what you want to throw. Um, but it was a great atmosphere. I love how many fans came out to watch. Uh, really, the events over outside the stadium though have more people because there's two events sure, going on at the same right. time, and that's really cool to watch. Like yeah. that hill, hill, gets just grassy hill, covered, completely full. It was awesome yeah. though. So what you're saying is that next year you or or well next year I would like to make it in in two all, events, all in, you two know events and possibly hammer. Well, yeah. that's a throw up, but yeah, I I I'm really. I'm motivated to make it in two events. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although I was gonna say, I think there it's at UG next year. But, yeah. Um, so, well, it's time to just relax and kick back and, for, and uh, before or what's the plans? Just relax. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take. Let me see. About two weeks off. I've got one summer class okay. that I have, and then I'm gonna get possibly a job at a hair salon. Okay. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna relax for about two weeks and then I'm gonna hit it hard in the summer. I love yeah. training in the summer so yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Yeah. Uh, just gonna watch watch uh, Kirsten in the trials from from uh, from on TV or any yeah. chance that you, you're gonna be able to make the trip? By I chance? was hoping to PR today to possibly get to go with it. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it on TV. Yeah. I don't think I can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be really awesome to watch that. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks for the time. Congratulations oh, and uh, and uh, just a strong season, a great experience, and great finish here, and uh, great great things for to uh, to come in the future for Mizzou. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.